Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Mika 3 Light Wall Sconce. It's not only a wall sconce, it also can be used as a semi flush on the ceiling. So you'd be facing it down like that, but um, it's a beautiful fixture. I think this is just dynamite um, as far as design goes. When we get into some of the details about it, you have a lot of heavy forging kind of going through right there. These pieces of glass are handmade pieces of glass made in, in, in Italy. <clears throat> really beautiful too. We'll take one off in a second and look at it a little closer. Uh, so let's get into the size of the fixture itself. So 11 inches high, uh, which is really going to be from here to here. And then the projection coming out from the wall is coming out at 8. And then from here to here is going to be 24 inches. So it's a good size. Back plate on this is going to be 5.5 by 5.5. It's round, obviously. That's a uh, mounting bracket. <clears throat> it's 7 pounds, so it's not that heavy. It's going to go over a regular junction box. We'll show you a little bit more information about all of this. Let's take a quick look at the installation's instructions. So if you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on that side. You're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installation's instructions PDF. Open that up for me. It's going to show you a full parts list, which is basically going to be the fixture. It's going to be the glass. It's going to be this piece here. It's also going to be these little cups that go in there, and they kind of go over the socket. So when you're putting your glass on, those cups are retaining cups. They have a retaining ring embedded in the back, and that pushes the glass against the fixture itself. So uh, let's talk about a couple more things. Let's actually take a piece of glass off and check it out. So uh, the, the bulbs I'm, I'm using in these, this right now, this is a G16. I think these look pretty good in this, but you know, you can put in other bulbs too. This is an LED version. It's called a G16.5 and it's just a little longer. So that can go in. And this is a clear one. This is probably a 40 watt equivalent. Uh, what they're recommending is, um, you'll notice it says 15 watt max. And that's actually, these little bulbs generally max out in the marketplace at about 5 watts to 5.5 watts. A lot of them are going to be 4 watts. So, and that's going to give you the equivalent of like um, a 40 watt bulb. When you get into the 5.5 watt versions of these bulbs, they're going to be the equivalent of about a 60 watt. So that would be like 360 watt bulbs. But you can also use these candelabra sockets, uh, candelabra bulbs, sorry. So, and this is a flame tip, so we'll put one of these in and kind of show you what these look like with different pieces of, um, well, different bulbs in them. Actually, you know, this isn't bad either. I kind of like that too. So that looks kind of like a flower. So this would be a flame tip, candelabra version. This is going to be the G16.5 in a round, clear. And then here's our G16 in a milky glass. So they're all pretty cool. And, and I got these bulbs, I think I picked these up at a dollar store recently. And um, the other ones I've gotten... You know, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, True Value Hardware. My grocery store sells these too, so they're e very, very, very easy to get. So let's take the piece of glass off and we'll check it out. And so this is that retaining cup I talked about a second ago. Okay. And it's going to be finished as well. Uh, the inside is a retaining ring that's going to hold down over your socket. And there's that beautiful piece of glass. So. The back of this is actually glossy and the inside of it is also is matte. So you have this kind of two-toned effect. So you, it's really pretty. It, it um, looks a lot like a flower basically. So we'll put it up like that. You get to check it out. You know what it looks like? It looks like Lalique glass uh, that comes from Europe, from France. That's, that's actually the look that they're going for. And I think it, they did a super duper job doing that. The bulb on this, uh, like I said, is going to go into a socket. It's just a candelabra socket. So no big, dis no big mystery there. Uh, well, when we talk about the color of the light coming out of these bulbs, we always talk about it in terms of Kelvin, and that's going to be the color of the light. So they're going to offer these things to you in a lot of different ways. They're going to offer them to you in something called um, 2700 Kelvin. That's going to be super duper yellow, uh, a little on the orange side. They're also going to offer this to you in something else. They're going to offer these to you in daylight, so be super careful about that. When, you, when it says daylight, that's actually a bluish white light, like a... Uh, hospital waiting room light or an overcast day. What we like to use in our showroom, and if you're going to be using this in a bathroom, like um, flanking a mirror or over a mirror, I would expect you probably would use warm white, soft white uh, LEDs. And those are easy to get too. You can get them any, anywhere. That's going to be 3000 Kelvin. That's the color temperature of the light coming down on us right now. So this is that nice incandescent type of glow that we all grew up with. And that's going to be a 3000 um, Kelvin. So it's a dimmable fixture as well. So if you're going to be doing this, I'd probably go for three 60 watt equivalent LEDs, you know, if you really want to do that. And that would probably be 
um, four watt, maybe a five watt, depends on who the manufacturer is. Um, and just make sure that they're dimmable and they come in the color temperature that you guys want. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you are on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over in the red tabs with the pictures in them over there. You're going to see a finishes help guide tab. Open that up for me. It's going to be a video there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart just down below. So scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a chart. You can click on that chart. So you can click on dark smoke. You can click on soft gold. Doesn't matter. Big page will pop up showing lots of different things in that finish. You can go back to the chart and you'll notice there's letters A's on them, letter B's on some of those things, and that's going to be showing you this range of variants that you can expect to see on different translucent finishes, but I'll talk about all of that in the video, okay? Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubbardton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubbardton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display and including which finish, which shade, all of those things and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks, it's, it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces and they're all the same size and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.